Hi everybody, it's Donna with Nurse Tarot. Welcome back. We are doing a timeless reading today. And the question that um, I'm going to be looking at today is, is my partner faithful? So, um, you know, we're going to look at that, you know, and, um, and see what can we do about it if they're not, what should we do if they are, you know, why we're feeling this way. So all of these questions are going to be discussed, okay? So here we go. So is my partner being faithful, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Empress, the Hanged Man, and the King of Swords. Okay, so overall when I look at this reading, it looks good, okay? It definitely looks like your partner is faithful, all right? So I guess we have to kind of look a little deeper and, you know, see even why you're wondering that, you know, what's going on, right? According to this, the relationship is um, on a good path as far as everything practical, okay? So everything is working practically. You both kind of know what you want out of life. You're both on the same page. You're both working towards that. Now, I do feel one person is working a lot harder than the other. So it seems to be a little off balance. And it's possible that your partner might be a little controlling or have an idea or think they're right about everything. Things like that, okay? Just maybe not motivating enough and maybe a little bit too controlling or wanting to be right all the time, you know? And I do feel that that can be frustrating. Um, I also feel that one of you gives love a lot more than they receive, or at least at the feeling level. It doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that either you or them do not feel loved all the time, okay? And that can cause some problems as well. Um, I think the relationship is good, and I do think that, you know, with a little bit of work, um, I think that you guys can overcome some of this stuff. I do feel that one of you do not talk about feelings very well, um, especially one of you. Um, you know, and I do think it's something that needs to be discussed, okay? So, the communication is not the best, um, but that's what I see is happening here, okay? So, let's see what else is, we're just going to kind of uh, do some clarification here, okay? So, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Three of Swords, and we have the Lovers, okay? So, this is very much a paradox, okay? So, you have the Lovers, everything is great between you guys. Things are going wonderful, you know, in many, many ways. It's full of love, right? It's rich. It's full of love. But you have, you know, some thoughts of betrayal, thoughts of hurt, thoughts of, you know, of not being um, acknowledged or not being heard. These kinds of feelings here. And then you also have all the fun within your relationship and the big ball of love that you feel within your relationship. So this relationship can be very, very confusing, right? Because it, it's made up of so much good, and yet you still have that um, kind of doubt in your mind and almost down to your core. And, you know, that can be your own kind of um, issue that you're brought into this relationship. It can be your own either from the past or it can be an issue, you know, um, caused by self-esteem issues, you know. So it could be just that you are um, um, uh, seeing things out of proportion or you're taking things too much to heart sometimes 
and um, when somebody is or maybe they're not showing you they love you and you need to be shown and you need to be loved in different ways than they're showing you and you know sometimes you have to ask for what you need right so don't jump to the conclusion or any conclusions at all but try to get to the bottom of it is this you is this you just worried and you know um, have these limiting beliefs about relationships that you can't get past or you've been hurt in the past and you're just expecting this shoe to drop so see what it is exactly that's happening okay and then ask for what you need because I feel like your needs are not being met all right so the next card we, we see here is the page of ones so I do think that this relationship needs some spark it needs to be turned up a notch okay and it needs to be turned up with desire with passion with um, that um, showing of um, excitement and joy so there needs to be that joy and there needs to be that excitement shown whether whether it's because you guys are going to start cooking together once a week or you're going to make a date night whatever it is there needs to be that element of joy and passion and spark brought back into your relationship okay so that's what i see there now we're going to pull an oracle card um i did bring an oracle deck with me here it is so these are um, wisdom cards by louise hay and i thought when we're talking about relationships maybe it's a good idea if we use you know get away from using our heart all the time and um know what we know okay and be sure of what we know so i'm going to pull one of these and then we'll go from there okay okay so here is a wisdom card here it says i do not have to know how to forgive all I have to do is be willing to forgive. The universe will take care of the how, right? So really, if there's things that have happened, you need to let go of that, okay? And then here, I forgive all past experiences. So this is the way of healing, right? And this is the way to get past any of the issues or the feelings of that you're not loved or not loved enough this is how to do that okay so yes yeah. so anyway i hope you guys have a lovely day um, take care and we will see you next time bright blessings